Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, hopefully you are all fine and enjoying the leaves as well. And after a pretty long time, we are meeting together virtually, although virtually not in the physical classroom. But we hope that we'll be meeting in the physical classrooms as well. And so many students are asking for mid classes or for mid exams rather. So it's pretty strange when I talked to the authorities that what about the uh, midterm exams so they are unaware that we didn't say anything about that to the children, to the, our kids, uh, to our students rather I may say, not the kids or um, well, you are students, okay? And uh, we're pretty mature students so what I want to say that you are now adults and you should behave like that. So what I think there's an right time for uh, midterm exams as soon as the authorities would inform us, I would inform Form you that first your midterm exams syllabus okay so you must be very pretty clear about it I would uh, make available all kinds of notes otherwise I have uh, defined the things that uh, uh, this is the book and that's the book functional English by Atil Ahmad Khan and Bilal Farooqi you may take this or you may uh, help yourself by taking notes or by browsing Google or by browsing any other uh, engine that you would like to have to enjoy and uh, that's feasible for you to do the things uh, so that's not compulsory on the teachers because you are mature enough to select and choose anything that you would like for yourself so my dear students don't worry about midterm exams at all you would be provided with each and everything that uh, would uh, be thought necessary for you so whatever you require for yourself do ask me even if you have suspicions up till now please make that clear if you, uh, there is some topic that's a bit difficult for you do say me to revise do ask me to revise the topic uh, i would be available for you all the time so that's for the prelude of a pre-lecture activity you may say now you have adjusted your volumes you have adjusted your physical conditions for the study if you are ready for the study we should start right now are you okay are you feeling good good enough active enough okay then we should start i think that's letter writing that we have started during the last lecture and this was letter writing so we had had uh, a pretty um, i think uh, a little moments left so it is why we left the topic uh, that was letter writing you know what's the definition of letter a letter is written message to person organization formal written me message what i added uh, the last time i think you remember that letter format uh, and uh, we have talked about three formats so, so we are starting through right here block format that is block format what is block format if you are listening to it for, for the very first time so i'm repeating it time and again block format or bla block letter format or block style there's the uh, same thing uh, different names of the same thing uh, so in this format the whole letter is left justifies number one there's the first condition left justified what does it mean left justified i would show you right now with second thing that with single space lines okay this is the second thing uh, that is included in block format letter okay two things are necessary for this left justified it should be left justified i'm just going to show you what is left justified and the second thing that it should be in single space okay uh, use a double space only in paragraphs so if there are paragraphs what what are the paragraphs in an essay let me show you they are also called units of the letter units of the letter okay now there are three things that we have discussed in block format letter number one that is left justified that it should be left justified okay number one and what about number two that's number one and let me highlight it okay this should be in single space but there should be double space in paragraphs okay in paragraphs now these are three things uh, in four different places uh, now let's discuss it there is a sample that's i have created for you so that's the block letter format can you see this the block letter format okay so let's discuss the block letter format has every line starting flesh with the left margin okay this is the left margin right are you with me or not at all this is left 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 margin okay everything is on the left isn't it everything is there on the left side 
that's block letter format what was the second condition that the the lines should be single spaced this is single space between the lines and here we know that there's a double space why is this double space because uh, uh, there's the sec another unit this is another unit okay this is another paragraph what we have written okay that's unit there is double space between these two paragraphs okay this is what i was saying now it is clear now this is another thing so there's a double space between the paragraphs there is double space now the three conditions are fulfilled in block letter format fine hope the point is clear okay now this is here that complementary close this is another thing so there is double space this is double space okay and there's the second unit okay and there's the second unit another unit so there are the spaces double spaces between different paragraphs or different units here this another unit okay this another unit we may say so there are double space otherwise there's single spaced okay hope the point is clear so this inside address and date and the name of address e and uh, there's the outside address inside address and uh, there's the main body of the uh, letter and there's compl complementary close and there's the signature area okay there's the uh, block letter format now you know what is block letter format that everything here is uh, on the left side there's nothing indentation nothing about tabs like that no tab at all like this this is tab okay nothing is there no indentation nothing is on the left side so that's block format hope the point is quite clear okay let's move to the second format okay that is uh, the second format and that is uh, modified block format fine modified block format what is this like the block format like this one text is left justified number one the same thing that's left justified okay and single spaced also so it is single spaced as well so both of the conditions are the same as in block format now letter date and closing however are set in the center these things letter date closing these three things letter date and closing fine letter date and closing two things however are in the center they are centralized what date and closing date and closing are centralized it is why that it is called block format but what modified black block format fine now let's see the sample if there is uh, there is there is yes there is so wow that's great they're simple for you now everything is left except this area number one this area because there is date here yeah, you can see here it is date date area okay means this is date in the letter in the letter okay now what is next what is next for the second condition let's see here this area okay here you can see this area they're centralized there's in between they're centralized center of the page almost there's center of the page almost okay here so center of the page so these two things are in the center of the page or everything is left indented okay there's left indented okay this is left indented this paragraph this paragraph left indented okay body of a letter in paragraph form in modified block letter format the paragraphs are not indented so they are not indented as we see here because they are on the left what is meant by indented let me show you this is indented okay this is indented okay now there is space let me show it again this is it is indented it is called indentation fine now you have understood the thing so these two things are centralized this area and the complementary close sincerely and signature area they are in the middle of the page fine so that's the second kind first one is block format and the second is modified block format and the third and the last one that is semi block format semi block format fine modified block format semi block format it simply means that the base is block format ok 
ओके नाउ दिस इज सेमी ब्लॉक दिस इज मॉडिफाइड ब्लॉक नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट सेमी ब्लॉक फॉर दैट दिस इज दिस वन इज प्रेजेंटेड इन मच द सेम वे एज मॉडिफाइड ब्लॉक जस्ट लाइक मॉडिफाइड बट वट्स द डिफरेंस एक्सेप्ट द पैराग्राफ्स आर इंटेंटेड इन स्टेड ऑफ लेफ्ट जस्टिफाइड हेयर द पैराग्राफ्स paragraphs are indented means there is a tab so there is one difference between modified block format and semi block format that there are paragraphs are indented here let's see if there is the third sample as well okay you are lucky that there is third sample as well we can see here that the paragraphs here are indented okay same as modified block letter but there's one difference and what's that there's the similar you can see here let me show that's the similar they are centralized okay centralized and uh, what was centralized uh, what was centralized here this was centralized fine am i right this was centralized complementary clause here also it is centralized this is in the middle and uh, date is also in the middle so they are in the same same the same lines okay there's correct okay there's middle of the sentence middle of the page but what's the difference what's the difference difference is here that paragraphs are indented there is space in that there was no space but here we can see that there is space how many spaces are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay let me see okay right there's right right body of letter is in paragraph form the modified semi block letter is almost the same as modified block letters but the paragraphs are indented okay as you can see here that paragraphs are indented otherwise it's almost the same because uh, the date area and uh, what and this complementary clause area are in the middle of the page hope the point is quite clear and you have come to know about the three formats of the letter and that's quite clear for you okay even then if you feel some kind of hitch you can ask me okay block format left justified single space lines double space when there's paragraph okay and what about modified block format left justified single space same letter date and closing are in the middle in the center of the page that's the difference okay and what is the difference between these two modified block format and uh, semi block format and that is uh, paragraphs are indented here otherwise uh, the pattern is the same hope it is pretty clear and it's very important to know about letter writing in a practical life in a pragmatic life uh, because uh, you are gonna uh, write um, different letters uh, with different formats as the other company would need or if you are writing some kind of reply then you must reply in the same format as you have received the letter as you find there and what about the font size uh, in formal letters and that is for fonts now we are talking about fonts fonts you know what are fonts uh, if uh, mm, i escape this reading more then uh, where is the font there there is the font okay these are the fonts you know cambria calibri times new roman arial and uh, like that so you know about the format if you have to change the format and so we can select it and uh, go there and uh, whatever you like uh, for example uh, i like it so i would change it to this one okay it's not going to change what happened uh, what happened it is in reading mode okay it is in reading mode and can't be changed because uh, it is uh, locked but what about the fonts okay can i change it or not uh, if i unlock it yes here here you can see okay here you can see now now i can change fine so this is font okay but i don't need it control z so let's go back <coughs> okay the points are clear or not do you ask me so this font the most important thing is readability using other common types what are the common types time new romans arial tahoma these are pretty important in fonts because uh, these are formal kinds of thing time new romans okay and what aerial aerial where is aerial or times new roman here it is 
and what about the homa if I you can do it like that t times roman and uh, the homa a t a h yeah the homa okay you find it here this is the homa okay so there are different kinds with the a size of 11 or 12 that's formal what is the size here on this book that is 12 you can see here you can change it to 11 or 12 but in formal writings it is 11 or 12 if it's a conservative company you are writing to if the company is quite uh, traditional one orthodox one stick to time new roman okay because they like this one times new roman the old the orthodox companies traditional companies conservative companies okay so that's all about the formats and the fonts of letters uh, hopefully the things are getting quite clear for you if there is some trouble you can ask me there are the formats and fonts of the letters now uh, we have come to the standard or essential parts of the letter and these are the essential parts of the letters that's heading letterhead date inside address salutation the body complementary clause signature area or uh, and reference initials these are essential and these are non-essential parts of letter attention line subject line enclosure notation copy notation etc and etc this will be our next topic i hope the time uh, i think is up so let me see what's the time uh, we have talked about and how much time but that's not showing the time uh, otherwise uh, i would have better idea about the time so that i would continue if there are two or three minutes uh, but i hope that uh, time is good enough and uh, thank you so much up till now we'll be talking about uh, the uh, essential and non-essential parts of the letter up till now the points are quite clear for you even then if you find some kind of difficulty do ask me so we have started this letter writing and i have talked about the book a bit any book that you have and that have this con these contents you may take that otherwise just stick to this book and you have the pretty idea of this book because you have been reading through this book i have been teaching through this book using this book so if uh, uh, you uh, have this book easily then it's pretty good uh, if you don't have this do ask me sir i am not getting the book quite right so i would help you okay students thank you so much allah hafiz